Oh, there you guys are. Hey, it's really good to see you. Uh, hope all is well. And welcome to 908 Virtual. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're going to do rational expressions, all right? So here comes your first problem. I know. Aren't you all excited to take your mind off of everything um, by doing fractions? Okay? So we're going to be simplifying fractions. Um, all kinds of different types of algebraic um, rational functions. All right, in this case, if there's no plus or minus signs right away, um, you can go ahead and simplify. All right, so in other words, um, the 20 and the 14, you know, you just reduce that like you always have. You know, what's the biggest factor that can go into 20 and into 14? Well, they're both even, so you can divide by dose. All right, this will be 10 over 7. So in my new fraction, just like normal, just reduce um, those uh, coefficients like you have been. And then with your variables, if you have the same base, um, you keep the base and you subtract the exponents. So you've got x to the sixth take away two, which is x to the fourth power. And put it here, because there's more. Look, there were six factors of x in the numerator. There was two factors in the denominator. There's more in the top. And that is all you can do. For example, one, notice there are no um, plus or minus signs. That's why you're able to cancel right away. All right, speaking of that, watch example dose. Okay, number two is going to be a little bit different. Number two over here, um, 6k minus 36 all over k minus 6. Notice you've got a binomial here. There's a minus sign separating those two terms. You got a binomial down here. You can't just cancel stuff right away. Okay, you, I want to drop those k's, but you can't drop those k's. You have to do the f word first, which is factoring. So look at the top here. How do I factor that? I'm looking for a greatest common factor. Well, 6k versus 36. The biggest factor you can pull out is a six. And remember what you're doing you're taking this and you're dividing by 6. 6 is cancel and you're left with k. 36 divided by 6 is 6. Minus sign there. Now you have multiplication right here. The bottom is a prime factor. I leave it alone. Once you have this multiplication and you have separate factors, then you can cancel any factors that are the same in the top and the bottom. And then the answer is just 6. How fun is that? Yeah? All right, I got one more example, and this will get you started with working on your rational expressions. Hey, you know you're bored anyway, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. Numero tres. I hope this is a fun one. All right. All right, here we go. Number three. All right, I've got y plus ocho over y squared plus 2y minus 48. Again, you cannot do any canceling or simplifying right now. Um, you've got plus signs and minus signs separating these terms. You might think you can drop those y's. Never. Okay? You've got to do the F word, which is factoring. In the top again, we have a prime expression. You cannot factor that. There's no GCF other than 1. In the bottom, there also is no GCF. But this is that favorite factoring of all ours where um, you break down that trinomial into a binomial times another binomial. So remember how we did that? We did y and y. Take your 48 and circle it. Um, start listing factors of 48. I like 6 times 8. You're looking for the pair of factors that's going to add or subtract it to. In this case, it's going to subtract to give you 2. Take the sign. Um, you want a positive 2, so the higher one gets a positive. Now, because you have multiplication right here, this factor here is completely the same as this one. One's in the numerator, one's in the denominator. You lost all of the numerator, so that's one, and then you just leave that factor down here. You can put the parentheses or leave the parentheses off of it. All right, well, have fun. Hopefully, this takes your mind off of things. And hey, welcome to 908 Virtual.